The modulation system in Bitwig Studio is pretty powerful and you can enable the modulation system in Bitwig Studio by just clicking the small little symbol down below here. You can find this on any VST or uh, audio effect or instrument in Bitwig Studio. Just click on it and you see there's a small little area popping up with uh, three empty slots. In these slots you can add modulators here by just clicking on it. And you have um, a browser window opening up and you can select here anything you want. For instance here a four stage which is an envelope. And when you added one modulator you can add modulation by clicking this model modulator handle here. And you can see everything turns into some greenish color. So you can, we can modulate here with the four stage, for instance, here the cutoff. And you can change by clicking and tracking the amount, how much you want to modulate this here. Um, you can add as many modulators as you want. There's no limitation really. We have an LFO. We can modulate here, for instance, the resonance. You can also uh, open up these modulators by clicking on it. So you can see an extended view. There's only one modulator open at, at a time. But you can also open up multiple of these extended views by, you know, just holding control and clicking on modulator so you can open up all three of these modulators at the same time. Um, you can also um, drag these modulators around if you want to, to any position. And if you click drag and then hold control, you can duplicate um, these, the, uh, these modulators here easily. You can also click on it and then con uh, use control and D and duplicate as many as you want. Um, when you modulate something here, for instance, uh, we use your ADSR and modulate the mix, um, and click on this modulator, you can see on the left side here, there's a small little info um, where you see the target and how much the amount, how much you modulated this. And you can also here change the um, yeah, modulation curve if you want to. So we have like an exponential curve so it doesn't modulate in a linear way. Um, what you also can do is, for instance, adding here a macro button, which is just a modulator and you can modulate anything you want with it. For instance, hit the mix, right? Easy. Um, if you double click, you can remove the modulation, by the way. But you can also modulate here with the snob the modulation strength of um, this ADSR. So we click on it and you see here, there's a list of modulation targets. And when this uh, modulation uh, handle here is active, you can click just on this, on this other modulator. So you can change with this button now the modulation strength of this ADSR. So you can cross modulate. You can also modulate with this macro button here, for instance, this A attack curve or attack time here or multiple things. So modulators can modulate different other modulators, uh, not only um, things on the device itself. So it's pretty interesting, pretty powerful. It's very modular and it's pretty straightforward. If you need help for some of these modulators, then you just click on one modulator here and press F1. And you can see this yeah, window popping up here with all the de details about different knobs, what they do and how it works. As a modulation target, you can choose anything that's on the same uh, level as the modulators and everything that's below the hierarchy which means if you have the synthesizer here and you add, for instance, a tool device here, um, and you want to modulate the tool device, you can see it's not possible. It's not green, greened out yet. It's not a greenish color. You can only modulate here the synthesizer itself. If you want to modulate the tool device, you have to put the tool device into 
pulley synth. So it's below, right? So we have the pulley synth and in the pulley synth, there is now this tool device. And now you can see we can modulate now the tool device inside um, the pulley synth here. Um, the same goes for if you choose to use, for instance, an FX2 here, which is a container device. You can modulate the container device if you want to. And also if the tool device is inside the multiband FX um, container here. So you can modulate also this. So you can modulate everything that's on the same level, which is the polysynth itself, and everything that's below in hierarchy, which is the multiband FX because it's in the polysynth, and the tool device, which is in the multiband, which is in the polysynth. If you add modulators to, um, for instance, this container here, so we add an LFO. There's no way you can modulate the polysynth itself because it's up or it's above. It's the parent device. You can't modulate this. You can only modulate down. So we can now here from this multiband of X, we can modulate basically the container itself because it's on the same level and the tool device because it's way down in the hierarchy. But you can't modulate up the hierarchy. 